Hello and nice to see you again through this video upload. In my last video, I, I shared with you of how the birth of Jesus brings the light that can set a man from free from sin. There's another incident that happened, a very interesting incident that happened during the birth of Jesus, which is given in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 1 onwards. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. My friend, here are some, some of the wisest men of those times. They came all the way, maybe traveling more than 1,500 kilometers on road, not on car, maybe on a camel or, or, or donkeys or, or whatever that was available, the mode of transport. And they come to Jerusalem and they tell the king, that they saw a star and they have concluded by seeing that star and they have studied prophecy through Daniel, the great prophet, that Messiah, the king of the Jews, was born. And they wanted to know where he was born because they wanted to go and see him. And you see, they saw a star. And obviously, if they had seen a star and come, they saw a star in the night because a star is not bright during the day. So they star in the night. Again, Christmas is light in darkness. So they come all the way traveling. They come to Jerusalem and ask the king and the king says, Oh no, I don't know. I don't know where he is born. The king is not able to help. And how discouraged or distraught these wise men would have been because they know that Messiah or Jesus was born right there in Israel. So they come to the king because he should be knowing that, but he's not able to help them. They would have been discouraged. But what happened? God did not let them down. The Bible says in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 9, when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. Wow. So they met the king, they came out, they didn't know what to do, and suddenly the star appears again. The star which they saw maybe many, many months back when they started the journey. And it's back again. It was night. The star was up in the sky. And it led them right to the place where Jesus was. And obviously the result was, was 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And they came into that house where Jesus was. They had joy. Now, this light is about how Jesus is our hope when we are hopeless. These wise men were hopeless in their situation. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know where to go. They didn't know how to reach their destination. How many times in life we go through that? Maybe you're going through a very difficult situation right today. You have a lot of questions hanging in your head. You're asking yourself, where am I going? What's happening in my life? How is this situation going to change? Is there a cure for this disease for my child? Maybe you are in loneliness today and there's nobody around you. You just, you just your heart is aching. Is there someone for me? Is there someone to love me? Is there someone to care for me? Is there someone 
who can guide me, who can help me. I tell you, you're not alone. Because Jesus came into this world as a true light. He came in the midst of the darkness. What does darkness mean? Darkness means hopelessness. Darkness means fear. Darkness means disappointment. But in the midst of that darkness, Jesus came as the true light. The star is still appearing today. The star is Jesus because Jesus said, I am the bright and morning star. He is the star that will not let you down. He is the star that will guide you. He is the star who will help you. He is the star who will heal you. He is the star who will take you to your destination. Wow, what an amazing Savior is born today. Such an amazing thing. Even the king gave up. The king could not help. Maybe even as you're watching this, um, I don't know, maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe you're going through something that somebody whom you trusted so much, they were not able to help you. Maybe your doctor who said, we can treat this disease, but now the doctor is saying, maybe we can't help you. We're sorry. You've taken a lot of medications and nothing is happening. Maybe you're so alone, everyone has left you. I tell you, even if the king has failed, you, the king of kings, Jesus, he is there. He's there for you. Just invite him. You know one thing about this uh, wise men? They looked up. They didn't look down. They looked to heaven. Help is on the way from heaven. Don't look at your situation. Look at Jesus. He is born to give you hope. He is born to help you. There's so much hope that Jesus offers today. It's not just a feeling. It's the living hope. You know how, how much hope? If you want to know, I'll tell you. Jesus can change your situation no matter whatever it is. No matter whatever you've lost in your life. He's able to give you back. Because not only he died for our sins, but he is the only one who rose again on the third day. And that is history. That is truth. Jesus is alive. If he can come back to life, he can make any situation, whatever it is in your life, come back to life. They received joy, and you shall receive that same joy. All you need to do is right now, I want you to just pray this prayer. Just say these words from your heart. It's words of inviting Jesus to come in your heart. Just tell him, Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming in search of me. I invite you into my heart. I trust in you. I receive the forgiveness. I receive the hope that you show me, that you give me. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, he is there to help you right now. And in Jesus' name, that situation will turn around in your life. In Jesus' name, that sickness leaves your body. In Jesus' name, that problem, that's a way out in that problem. In Jesus' name, that crisis gives way right now. In Jesus' name, you're finding hope in that moment of hopelessness. Because Jesus is alive and he's born. God bless you. Just let me know how you've been blessed, if you've been blessed through this upload and we would like to do more. God bless you. See you again. Have a blessed, merry, merry Christmas. Amen.